Uh, after the game, I went in the locker room and I told our players um, that that win was all them. Uh, complete credit to our players to come out in a one-day turnaround and be as focused as they were. You know, for Marshall, obviously, we've been talking a lot about our defense and how we haven't been playing well defensively. And uh, I saw a difference in our kids yesterday in practice. I thought they've tried really hard to be a tougher defensive team. And I thought you saw the same thing tonight on the court. Um, you know, Marshall started off real quick with that 5-0 lead. I called that timeout because I just didn't want us to get discouraged more than anything. And we came out of that timeout and Lefty led the way getting a couple deflections. And um, you could just see our team's confidence kind of grow from there. And we went on a 9-0 run. And I thought that set the tone for us the rest of the rest of the game. So, um, you know, I'm just super pleased that we played up to our potential and our ability defensively. You know, that, that made me more proud than anything in this game. And, you know, I thought we took a lot of Marshall's strengths away. And I'm proud of our kids. And then on the offensive end, we're, we're a pretty good team offensively when we share the ball and we have multiple players in double figures. We shot the ball better tonight, but that's because we took a lot better shots because we executed well. We had 21 assists on 29 um, field goals and um, you know four people in double figures and shooting almost 50%. Again, that's a credit to our players who were focused, who were executing well. Um, we really did a great job in the way they were playing our ball screens. We got exactly what we thought we could get out of that because they executed it and took good shots. So um, just a really great team win that our players deserve because they earned it. Yeah, that's a great observation because we've, we've talked to our team about that and that we feel like uh, when we haven't played well offensively, our defense is a let down. And you're absolutely right. There was particularly a span in the second half. Uh, I want to say we were stuck on 48 points for a long time. And despite our struggles to, to kind of go through a cold stretch there, you know, we defended really, really well. And I'm not sure we let Marshall score during that stretch either. And uh, that's, that's a huge jump for our team to know that, you know, no matter what happens to us on the offensive end, that we can get stops. And that, that's huge growth for them. Uh, awesome to see. Yeah, I mean, we're a better team when we move the ball. There's no doubt about that. And our team knows that. And we've talked about that quite a bit. And, um, you know, today we did that. And, uh, you know, I, I don't have an answer necessarily why, uh, other than that they were just more focused to execute and do what we needed them to do. And, um, you know, I think they also knew that obviously Hillary had a great night shooting, which was just awesome to see her get back to that and you know our, our team is unselfish so when somebody is, is playing well or shooting well they want to get that person the ball so they want to get Hill some touches they wanted to get you know Kira some opportunities and you know that's when we're really good. Um, honestly I was just letting it fly you know I'm not thinking about it just letting it go and um, I had struggled the past couple games and I had to get my rhythm down and get some extra shots in the gym so that's what. Um, I didn't, I didn't let that bother me. I just figured I would go back in there and just try not to foul out. <laughs> um, um, from the bench, did, did your role as a leader kind of change as more of a Oh, I can leader? be the biggest cheerleader. Yeah, yeah. it was fine. I, I didn't get down about it. I just knew, like, okay, I can't. Like, after I got that fourth one, I was like, I can't foul anymore. But I, once I, if I'm on the bench, that doesn't bother me. I just be the biggest cheerleader for my teammates. Yeah, I mean, I don't know anything about North Texas yet. Um, too far away from me. Um, but... Uh, my focus has been really on our team and it, regardless of who we're playing, I mean, obviously we're going to prepare the best that we can prepare them in terms of the scouting report. But the biggest thing right now for us is we just try to get better every day. And that's our, my, my players hear me say it probably a hundred times yesterday, get better today, get better today. And so, you know, tomorrow's our day off and then we're going to come back Monday and we'll watch a lot of film both on the Marshall game and the Western Kentucky game. Um, we'll spend that day Monday just trying to get better at certain things and then we'll start into our game prep. And, you know, if our players come out and, and attack practice the way they did on Friday, um, you know, we have an opportunity to continue to get better and compete well in this league.